What's up guys, it's Tio and today I'm bringing the long awaited tutorial on how I make my beats. I'm sorry for putting this off so much and stuff, it's just, I don't know, I didn't have the motivation to do it and now during self isolation I finally found some free time, I might as well get to it man. I've got so many plans, I'm going to talk to you about the plans I have for this channel as well and just everything in general. So first of all, let's get that out of the way. I want to have this channel, Tio produced it for beats, I want to have curator for like drill beats and stuff that isn't similar to IC Twat or Playboy Carty in any kind of way. I want to make another channel called Just Tio where I post like garage beats, garage remixes, uh, tutorials like these. So I just want to have three different channels where I post different genres and different types of content. I'm going to just build that up. Um, so if you guys want to go help out, just subscribe to the channels or when I drop a video on them, go check it out and stuff like that. I'll put the links in the description. You can see everything. Let me show you before you even start kicking up just my presets for my channels. So on the master, I've got good old fruity soft clipper then on mixer track 100 it's my bus it's my reverb bus we've got just a fruity reverb max wet max early uh, reverberations so my go-to sound honestly nexus piano arena ambience it's just the best sound for pianos honestly you can't go wrong with it so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna buzz the first chord and see what comes of it so i'm using nexus impurity for this beat Let's see what comes of it. So I usually just use minor ninths, go straight here, minor ninth, choose that, and I place it wherever. Yeah, we can do it in C. Let's do it in C. So I've done that. What I'll do is just extend it. Perfect. You really don't need the VST for that long. We just make one shots out here because they're much easier to work with. Put that on play, record, doesn't matter for how long, it's not going to be more than 30 seconds and just... You want to let that reverb tail drag out because if you cut it too short it can sound a bit jumpy. So now that we've done that, we can literally close that VST, go to Edison and drag it into a sampler, I'll just save it there. Oh, untitled. Okay, we have not saved this project. We have to save it. FL Studios is known for bugging out all the time, so you just want to make sure you save it. And if I sound a bit sniffly and stuff, I mean, I have got COVID. I don't have any symptoms now, but I don't know, man. Maybe it makes my nose a bit more runny or sniffly or something. I don't I'm chilling. So now that we have our piano one shot, just normalize it to bring it up to volume. Go to the envelope filter. Turn the attack down, decay down, sustain down, release down, and hold all the way up. It's the same trick for 808, so it makes your one shots just end when you want them to end instead of dragging on. Let's make a basic melody and then we'll <clears throat> make it a bit more complicated on purity. So, I want to make it sound like a one shot. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I start adding some cuts in. So, we'll do this here. So, it sounds like you're spamming it with your finger, you're playing it out on. So this doesn't sound like an actual piano playing, it sounds more like a sample. There we go. And my computer is so clunky, I don't know what's wrong with it, it's, it's, it's bugging out, but it's okay. What I'm going to do real quick is just here bring that an octave down i know it sounds shit but literally as soon as you just slide it down it will make sense so this is the main melody we're running with so then what i'm going to do is go to purity bring out my trusty preset on there it's in under slow synth it's called hyper pad just take that up so i'm going to make a similar one shot and i'm going to see how long it actually takes to play it because if the attack is too high then it might sound a bit off when we're sampling it so i just need to make sure that it sounds good to me now okay yeah i'm going to turn the 
attack down just a tad so it still fades in just a little bit but not as long as that perfect okay then literally rinse and repeat bring out Edison on play record and then there we go so just bring that there same exact thing go into there normalize it attack down hold up decay and everything else down I'm going to have to turn it down here though because it's getting a bit too loud and it might overtake my voice so let me get rid of this chord as well cut that out I can probably get rid of this VST I'm, I'm, I'm done with Nexus for now Nexus I only use for that one sound usually it's got some good pads in there but I haven't used them in a while why have I still oh okay there we go so now, so now, just make a melody with this. It follows the main, like the basic wood progression, but it's not as jumpy as the piano, so it contrasts it a little bit, it, it builds it up better. So then we have this, paste that across, and instead of G, it goes to G sharp minor 9 here. Exact same thing. Now you can see it's already thickening out a bit. Okay, what's the next sound we're gonna use? Glide fly, just turn that down a little bit. Cause you don't like I, I like the glide sound of it, but when it's up here at like 0.3 of a second, it takes way too long to be gliding between chords for it to sound smooth. So what we'll do is we'll do another minor ninth on C. See what that sounds like. I've actually never made a one try out of this exact sound. I usually just play it play it in the uh, piano roll on the VST, but Let's experiment, let's see what it sounds okay. like. And then we just drag this one out as well. Track 3. I always like to just order my stuff. I, I see loads of deconstructed people don't have their mixer tracks and stuff already sorted out. But for me it just makes the mixing process much longer if I don't have that. We're going to normalise it because we turned down uh, this one quite a bit when we recorded it. Just turn it down just in case. And then literally copy that, put it there. So as you can see, this one's a much more concentrated sound. So we're just going to EQ it just to really, really put it into its place and for it not to clash with any of my other sounds. I cut the lows out and the highs out quite a bit, but we'll fit it with it now and see what it sounds like. Okay, so I boosted like high mids and just mids, low mids. I've cut down just, actually I've boosted just a bit and I've cut the bass and the sub bass out and all of the treble out. So there we go, that's not as invasive of a sound now. So it fits in much better with this actual hyperpad that we have going on as well. See, it's not too harsh on the ears. It's not too harsh on the ears, so it all makes sense. Play it with the Nexus piano. I think I'll EQ this one as well because I feel like it will clash with the 808s a little bit. Perfect. Um, I think probably two more melodies and I'll keep these as VSTs because it's much easier to do that. Let's just clone purity and I'll show you the go-to sounds I have for... So I have like the main, main body of the melody built, now I just need to start adding ornaments to it. So what I'm going to do... Actually we'll make another one because I've just had another idea. What we're going to do now... I'm going to go to piano. There's one called uh, Musciano, which is here. A sharp minor 9. C sharp minor 9 and then F sharp minor 9 to G sharp minor 9. And as you can see the velocity is turned all the way up. You do not want that because the envelope and the filter on this 
um, sound are controlled by the velocity as well so it will sound really really harsh and bright if we keep it that way so. turn the reverb down just a bit and set it to half set that's what I'm trying to say bring it just to the same level as everything else and then all I did there was press control U. That's the only thing you need to press. Turn the velocity down because you can see it's, it's getting a bit too much. And this will just add movement. Yeah, there's Alt R, my bad. To bring up the randomizer, the panning up a bit, and the velocity as well. And then what we'll do is we'll add EQ. Let's see what chorus sounds like on this, why not? There we go. Chorus on anything sounds good, just not all the way up. Turn it to like halfway and you're sorted again. So it's more of a background sound, this one. It's not the emphasis of the what beat sound, hyper pad. Yeah, again, but for this one we turn the amp, uh, the envelope, the attack all the way down. Keep the reverb and the chorus the same. And all we do on this one, we take the top melo top note of this melody, and we do like a syncopated rhythm, so it plays on the offbeat. Yeah, again, randomize these just to make it sound more interesting. So it sounds like this. Let's have it panning across actually, let's not random randomize the panning, let's just do this. There we go. And that's just moving across, keeping it interesting. So these usual like high melodies, they add a bit of tension and also a melodic element as well, so it keeps the beat interesting when these come in, it makes it feel like it's fully dropped. However, at the same time, it adds a bit of tension. So that when you go back to a more empty beat, people can appreciate that more as well. Having this throughout the whole track would get very tiring on the ears. Next sound we're going to use is Impurity again. It's in Strings. I use V Anna Strings 1 or V Anna Strings 2. You just grab the same melody or the same note you did on the hyper pad and you just extend it for four bars. So what I'm going to do is just use um, the V Anna Strings 1. And just play it like that. Um, it might sound quiet, but because this is such a high frequency, it really stands out from... So what we're going to do is just turn it down, because it can get, as I said, like very, very repetitive and very boring for the ears. And just connect it to the bus a little bit, so we have a bit more reverb on it. That gives it a bit of a stereo, stereo image, it makes it sound more wide. Same with the hyper pad, but only a little bit on it. Now if you look at our melodies, we have this. Let's try again. Now we can start getting to the real fun bit, which is the drums. Let's start off with the hi-hats. I'll talk you through all the sounds I've got as we're boarding them up. My first drum sound, I go to this one quite a bit. It's from the IC Twat drum kit. Hi-hats, it's got IC Twat hi-hat. My go-to, literally just standard trap fill-in, two steps. For the snare, I'm using the IC Twat snare one from Trillist's Dreamcast kit, this is like the best kit, hands down. Uh, shout out to Flyboy for sending me that, honestly, legendary moves. So we're going to do the fills on the hi-hats. Half step. Oops, click on this, I use the paintbrush tool. Okay, so I don't think the snare is hitting hard enough. So what I do is I go back to the Dreamcast kit. This is free as well on his website, so make sure you grab it. He has a mixer preset called Four Claps and Snares. 
literally just drag that on makes it hit there you go you can hear that it just crisps it up and makes it peak just a little bit so it triggers the soft clipper and it makes it sound just a bit more distorted when it hits basic drum pattern in between And to do that, just control B, highlight, control highlight, and then control B to paste it over. Got one more snare in here. Take off loop points and normalize everything uh, just to make them more even. Yeah. So that sounds a bit off, but in the full context with all the drums, it will make a lot of sense. It sounds a bit syncopated and a bit offbeat, but it makes it follow into the next repetition of it much easier now i've got the sachi symbol shout out to sachi man you such a legendary producer honestly got me into this like one of the main reasons i'm producing is sachi i can't know this one's simple fill each eight steps and that's all you have to do don't even that's just such a traditional such a standard sound i use just fill eight steps and you're sorted next icy twat hat sound I usually put it just um, before the snares, like either here or here. It's just I don't want this section to be too busy because it's got this roll going on. So you don't want to layer up sounds when you've got something exciting happening on just one sound. So if I put it there, it just it drowns out the roll. But if I put it here, there's no roll there. So it sounds much more in place in that location. Uh, next, we've got Young Good Bell. It's from the Icy Top Drum Kit yet again. From comes off off beat here and on beat there just to keep it interesting really now very controversial sounds we're getting to now loads of people don't like these vocals in their music but i can't get enough of them honestly they sound heavenly to me so we're just going to add the little chant in that i was showing you earlier <gasps> it's normalized when you drag it in just make sure there's no time stretch on it because it can't it can sound a bit off and you won't be able to pitch it if you have the time stretch on so <gasps> and it sounds like it's in tune as well let's just pitch it up to make sure there we go that's in tune. Perfect. Next we have Icy Top Vox 3 from the Dreamcast kit. I know you recognize this one. I've been using this in like pretty much every single beat since July. So I know for a fact you guys all know that one. Simple two bar pattern. Pitch it down a bit. And I think the piano is moving a bit too much for me to be able to do the 808s now. So I'm just going to switch over to the glide pad. And for the 808s, I don't like having everything else busy so I can actually truly hear the pitch and all the moves I'm making in the 808s. So I'll just have the hi-hats and the two snares. Now, right. For the 808, I'm just using regular good old go to spins 808 turn the attack down hold up decay sustain release down volume this is very important volume max you want that shit peaking it will make sense when we're mixing it just trust me you want to have that max and you just want to max the velocities out as well you can hear that soft clipper kick in and already it's beautiful And source up the 808s just a bit. I have this here. Slide this one down. Because spin sounds really good when you slide it. Yep, do the most basic 808 roll that we all know. Like so. And maybe we'll slide it down actually. Let's see what that sounds like. There we go. Next we have the top kick one from the Dreamcast kit yet again. Uh, mix the presets for kicks, just makes it sound, ma makes the kick punch way more. I Follow the 808 pretty much, completely. 
and we'll see what that sounds like and if we want we'll cut some of it out or add more kicks in and i think near the end here what i'll do is just have another kick hitting just there to lead into the next repetition so coming together so that's literally yeah that's all my drums and my melodies that's how i make these parts of the beats see when everything gets added in nothing's really sticking out nothing's too loud nothing's too boring or repetitive or anything well i think so anyways so now i'm just gonna add the other sounds i usually work with We'll add this here, it will make sense once we actually drop the whole beat. I just want to have everything mixed and ready to go before I actually start layering it so I can just export it as soon as I'm done. So we have a riser there, I'll just put that on track 18. This one doesn't get touched, it doesn't get brought down or brought up or anything. First, I need to do my other traditional standard sound that I do, which is from the Metro Booming Kit perks, perk number 9. We all know that. Icy Twat uses it as well, honestly, legend mint. Just turn that all the way down because it clips a lot and max out on the reverb track just to make it sound even more spacey and in the background and then add my tag in okay then pattern one we split by channel we have everything here and now we just start work working on layering the beat start off with the piano just to introduce the main theme of the of the piece Sorry for cutting it short yet again, it's just me to make sure we have everything there the way we want it. So what I'll have it do is for 8 bars play the melody, so we have 16 bars of intro, and then for 8 bars comes in with the kick and the cymbal, I'll get rid of the open hat, the uh, cowbell and the chant, and it sounds like this. We can add another pad here as well, the hyper pad.
So there we go, that is how I lay out my beats. So I have 16, 8 to 16 bars of intro, so it's either the melody playing for 16 bars or the melody playing for 8 bars and then some drums being introduced and then the full drop here. You want to have everything drop at once. Well, that's how I layer it. Or you could just have this one first and add the tension during the second repetition of it for more interest, which is probably what I'll do. Actually, no, I'll just leave it like this for now. Maybe I'll do that here. It's just I know that this layout works very well for most rappers. Then the full beat just drops out completely. It becomes very simple, but the kick and the hi-hat stay rolling. We might do this just to keep it from being too repetitive. We'll make the pattern unique and then just fill in with two steps for here. And then once the pad comes in, it starts getting more complex again. So now this is just bare bones of the beat. And yeah, it still sounds quite full because the kick is hitting quite often and the reverb from these bells is just filling out the back the background space. One more sound I'm going to add right now. Um, I don't know why the fuck I didn't search. There we go. This is the sound I'm looking for. Just drag that in. Yeah, again, another sound I use quite often in my beats. Like so. Track 21. Bring this down. EQ it. And put it on a reverb track. For mixing, keep it simple. Honestly, just keep this one on loop. a bit of phaser to the hi-hats I'm gonna have to boost that chant just a bit and literally just do it by ear there's no reason to bring up any big old VSCs and stuff I just do this by ear I prefer the more organic sound I don't like a process sound on all, on my music and yes that is how I make some of my beats next time I will probably do like you know the jungle garage kind of vibe I go for where I sample jungle and put like drum and bass drums and stuff I'll probably do a rundown on one of those I want to start doing this quite regularly but not on my main channel not on Tio Produced I'll probably start a new channel for this because I can't have a rapper de demographic and a producer de demographic all on the same channel it will mess up the like where my videos are recommended and who they're recommended to and stuff and it will stop all the organic growth of the channel so I'm probably gonna make a new channel just for my deconstructed I'll probably call it like TO deconstructed and I want you guys for each week from Monday through to Friday all the beats I post daily pick one of those beats that you really liked and I'll show you how I made it or if you have any recommendations just give me beats that I've made in the past uh, beats that you've heard on my live beats that you've heard that maybe I haven't released if you just want like an interesting rundown on how I made the beat and it doesn't have to just be like Icy to or Playboy Carti beats if you've heard some of my drill beats garage beats if you've heard some of my grime beats if you've heard some of my American trap beats if you've heard like my gunner type beats if you've heard my Roddy Rich type beats literally any rundown you guys want I'll show you how I make my guitar melodies I'll, I'll show you how I process everything um, just put it down in the comments let me know give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video because honestly I had a blast making it and if you have anything else to recommend down below about this type of format how I've made it maybe the video is too long the video is too short my voice isn't mixed well enough and stuff this is the first video so I didn't have a script or anything that's why this has taken so long I didn't I was just off the top of my head just let me know how this video was for you and if you have any tips um, or tricks or you know you can help me out in editing the videos or just making the videos flow and be better for you guys because at the end of the day the only reason i'm doing this is for you guys remember save your project and i'll see you next time guys take care